slash sports, lendingclub.com slash sports. I got into a very spirited debate uh, with with Nick Wright, uh, was on our show earlier today. Nick's from Kansas City, and I'm like, good Lord, slow down on Patrick Mahomes. He hasn't even played in a hailstorm yet, and Kansas City's got some of the worst NFL uh, worst NFL weather. And then the NBA survey came out, and Russell Westbrook, nobody likes him. The GMs don't, and they love LeBron and don't love KD. So let's start just a couple of minutes with Nick Wright earlier today. Very entertaining. I said to start, can we slow down a little on Patrick Mahomes of the Chiefs? Criticism about Patrick Mahomes, that's valid right now. He hasn't done it long enough, and that's only because they haven't played more games yet. Oh, defenses are going to catch up to him. Catch up to what? His perfectly timed, high-velocity, pinpoint accurate throws? They're going to catch up to that? Like they, I, People don't want to get ahead of themselves, but sometimes in an attempt not to get ahead of yourself, you trip going backwards over yourself. Let's be honest about what we're seeing. This kid's a star. He's a superstar. The way he plays is transferable across weather, across city, across scheme, across system. Does that mean the Chiefs are going to win the Super Bowl? Of course not. I didn't only work in Kansas City. I'm from Kansas City. I've seen 13-3 and turn into a home playoff loss four times in my lifetime. They've only won one playoff game since Joe Montana was there. They will find a way to break uh, Kansas City's heart once again, I'm sure. But they have a franchise quarterback. He's a superstar. And the idea that he's going to be given too much too soon because Bill Polian called him Dan Marino, that's an epic cowherd take, but it's insanity. Okay. Well, you know, I have a right to be insane. I want to shift to this. Uh, Every year at this time, there's the NBA GM survey. And uh, as I said earlier, most people don't like conflict in life. They don't. They don't like to argue with people. You and I are considered highly outspoken, but people come up to us on the street or at a restaurant or a bar or at a car wash, and they say nice things to us because people don't want to be confrontational. So when the NBA GM survey comes out, you can be honest because you're anonymous. It's like social media. You can hide behind it. Well, 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 what do you know? Everybody says they love Durant, but LeBron won eight categories, and, and Durant won one LeBron got second place in power forward. He doesn't even play the position. And it was like, this is the this is the real gap between LeBron and KD. And when you ask GMs anonymously, they acknowledge it ain't close. I, I looked at this and laughed. I thought you were the first person I thought of with this. What was your reaction? Yeah, I mean, this is the most honest distillation of who LeBron James is. Who's the best leader in the league, according to the guys putting together teams? LeBron. Who's the best passer in the league? Oh, it's LeBron. Who is the best small forward? LeBron. Who's the second best power forward? Oh, the same guy, LeBron. Who would I want to start my team with? He finished fourth in year 16, which is insanity. The the, the league decided I would rather have LeBron than anyone taken in the last five drafts, even though I would get them for an extra decade. Like, the the gap between him and the second-best player is as big as the gap has ever been. And people act like that's an indictment on Durant. It is not. Durant is going to finish his career as one of the 15 greatest basketball players ever. Kevin Durant is going to finish his career as one of the five best pure scorers ever. Unfortunately for him, there is still, aside from rain shooting, not a single thing in the the world on the basketball court he does better than LeBron. We know LeBron's a better passer. We know LeBron's a more versatile defender. We know LeBron's a better rebounder, a better leader, more of a clutch player according to any advanced metric or just raw number of playoff game winners. And we also know that actually – When you need a bucket, LeBron's the best guy in the league to get it. Now, in this survey, it said take the final shot. Durant's a better shooter, but when it comes to getting a final bucket, we know who the best in the world is, and the guys putting together teams know who the best in the world is. By the way, you you have to acknowledge this. Twitter's not real life. Chris Paul is one of my favorite players in the NBA, and he's not likable, and he's tough, and he's tough on teammates. But 27% of GMs... And everybody hates him, right? Said almost a third of the GMs are like, yeah, Chris Paul's the the best leader. Uh, Westbrook, who everybody loves on social media, did, did did not get a vote 
for best leader. What would you like to say for yourself? Okay, I, I heard you say this earlier, and you were talking about, oh, he's the fastest with the ball. Well, who does that matter to? Oh, I don't know. The guys guarding him, it would seem to matter to. <laughs> so I, I've never heard the take that, you know what's overrated in sports? Speed. I want slow guys with the ball. That's how I win games. <laughs> you, listen, I thought we had, I, you and I, the audience doesn't know this, I flew out to your palatial estate in Manhattan Beach. I brought your friends. We had a Russell Westbrook intervention. We yeah. were considering an Aaron Rodgers intervention, and I said, no, this is the more crucial cause. I thought we'd pulled you away from this one. We evidently have not. Listen, Russ is not a perfect basketball player. Paul George wants to play with him. They're going to be one of the five best teams in the West this year. And my gosh, Colin, at the end of the day, look at these highlights. He's fun to watch. No. Your life will be markedly better if you just embrace Russell Westbrook. <laughs> Instead, we're pulling up who the best passer is. I mean, you're, you're, you're the best leader. It's just unfair. And really, it's unfortunate. Nick Wright. Listen, I, you know, I was just about to put my arms around Westbrook, and then this survey came out, and it validated a lot of what I'd said, didn't it? Don't you also say that there's really only, like, three teams in the NBA that can win a championship? Yeah, Celtics. So that will... means all the rest of the teams in the NBA are run by these GMs <laughs> but, you know, that I, don't have Westbrook? I will say this. Um, the one thing the NBA does really well, they create and market and promote stars. Rockies are playing the Brewers. And, and by the way, there's three of the best players in baseball in the last 10 years in that series. And I, I wish they would be more marketed. It's like I'll say this about the NBA when that but survey you came play out. Play the game the right way, Colin. Yeah, play the game the right way. No, play, have fun. The you one thing, follow the, the one thing, rules. the one thing Nick Wright said: the, the NBA is fun. They're joyful. They put their arms around new stuff. They're fun, and that, that's one thing I love about the NBA. Uh, coming up next, best for last. I saw something really shocking last night, and it's still allowed in sports. That's next.